Hey, this is Rick. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a social worker and uh, trauma and addictions counselor, also a combat vet. Uh, I want to give an update on my 10,000 steps, but first I want to uh, let you know you can find me at LBRT Social Work on Twitter. And you can also find my uh, weekly podcast I try to put out every Sunday called Warriors Respite. Uh, you can find that on Spotify. I believe it's on Amazon and uh, and uh, uh, Google. And uh, anyways, I can't think of the other podcast. Apple, that's the one. <laughs> anyways, uh, today I just want to discuss uh, or talk about my... 10,000 steps a day. I wasn't able to do an update after a week because there was a big storm here in town and all the power's been out. The power actually just came on last night. Uh, so anyways, this is a week and a half later update. Um, I have not lost any weight. Uh, the scale stays the same, around the same, maybe like a half a pound. But my do have pants that seem to be a little looser. So I don't know if I'm gaining muscle. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep going and see if the weight starts coming off. Uh, I I have found that I feel uh, more apt, uh, apt to eat healthier. So I have been eating healthier and, and counting my calories on my Fitbit. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is I kind of feel like the more I do the walking, the more I want to exercise. Doing 50 to 100 push-ups a day, uh, doing 100 squats. Uh, yesterday, I did 100 sit-ups, even though I pulled a muscle in my ab. Uh, it, it's, it, it, was, it was difficult. It was, it was terrible. Uh, but I've been doing this. I think it made it easier for me to do this because I've looking at my stats uh, I walked an average of 14,900 something, 954 uh, steps uh, a day uh, during that week. So I, I think some days I did more than 10,000, probably about 11,000. And I think my highest so far has been 18,000. Uh, so I, I so far I do recommend it if you're just wanting to be healthier because just by walking, I feel like getting more exercise, and I'm doing it. Um, so I think that's important. Uh, I'd, and as I do more push-ups and sit-ups, I feel myself becoming stronger. And more squats. Um, I mean, today, this morning, I woke up feeling a bit sore because I think I got my, like, I mean, the past week I've been, like, doing push-ups and stuff, but it wasn't, like, all at once. Yesterday I got my, like, real workout, and I woke up pretty sore this morning. And uh, it's been a long time since I've actually done a real workout like that. And I do attribute it to just moving more. That's just it. Just getting up and moving, walking, taking my dog for a walk, getting up and uh, walking two miles in the morning. And then walking throughout the day, um, walking during lunchtime at work, I walk down to the park. Uh, it's, 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 things are getting a bit easier, but at the same time, a little overwhelming because it's, it's like I got a long hill to climb and I'm not losing any weight. I don't know if you can gain muscle from walking like that, um, but my, legs at the end of the day do feel sore and my feet are sore uh, from all that walking uh, because I don't think without counting steps the average person uh, that uh, th that sits in an office like me is getting 10,000 steps a day let's be honest like I'm probably getting five, 2,500 to 5,000 steps a day so being more aware of of that physical activity, I think has helped. All right. Well, thanks for watching and stay mangled and strangled in peace.